Welcome to my channel. This is Stormy Cloud 21. Tonight we're looking at the amp suit with Bush Boss FD11. This is Avatar. And not only that, this is Avatar The Way of Water. So this is the second giant amp suit that has become available by McFarlane Toys. And it is big enough to fit 3.75 inch figures. 22 moving parts. See McFarlane Toys up there. Avatar. Loving that nice symbol. And then going on the back of the box and looking at that. And now they are keeping with this reef theme. This movie that centers on a lot of water, underwater scenes, above water scenes. This is an RDA vehicle. Also here is a picture. This is a cool picture of the inside of it. There, it has black light capability, which is, wow, amazing. There's that flamethrower right there. That's what the Bush Boss is, RDA. This is number 25. Mine arrived as a really, really funky looking 25 overspray. But hey, this is a new amp suit. I'll take it. I don't I don't know that you can get this in the store locally yet. I don't know. Perhaps you can. Mine came from online. So I would rather just hang on to this, enjoy it, and open it. So without further ado, let's do just that. It seems I do this in every video, but I really mean it. Take a good picture of it, but it's stuck in there. Uh, first of all, you're trying to pull this out. They tape the top of the box to the, uh, the amp suit. So when you're pulling it out, it's gonna be stuck to the top. That's the way it works with this one. But there we go, I got it. Now I gotta take a picture of this. So here it is. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's absolutely beautiful. And it's way out of the shot unless I scoot it back. So let's take it out of the packaging and check it out. So I open this up and first thing I have is this Kim Therm Incinerator. Yeah, chemical thermal incinerator. See the abbreviations. Um, 92 plus and a minus RDA. Bush Boss, the lift right there. Uh, it's got some good weight to it, so the lift right there as well. I like this RDA on that side. Um, now we looked at the miniature version, so basically you're getting the same type of flamethrower, except in the larger scale now for the second edition amp suit that we have received for the 3.75 inch uh, figures, human figures. You'll also receive this hand right here for the amp suit, which can plug in and be interchangeable, very reminiscent of a Terminator type hand. This right here is the knife. Um, I don't know what the differences are. I haven't even compared yet with the original but it does slightly look different to me. So maybe, I don't remember it being hollow there, but maybe it was. We'll look at, at these things. This is the amp suit number 25. And um, it is different. It's got a lot of similar capability, but it is different. Um, first off, this thing's really been uh, in the box for a while now, so the articulation is going to be slow to really show what this thing can do um, until we get things moving. But there's some cool articulation 
that you can do also this right here. Surprised it's this good out of the box so far. There's the back. Um, also, and I didn't realize this on the last review. Uh, no holding you back there, buddy. And then there is a place for this knife. Go right there. Up in there to store that for a moment. And then look at these legs. Mud covered, dirt covered, you know. And showing us that this is a well used machine. Articulation right there, but it does not want to go yet because this is brand new. No, it doesn't want to. Not yet. And then you can open up the cockpit and it's very cool in there. Lots of details. Um, what I didn't realize in the last one that I reviewed is that they keep the, an extra breather mask back there being on Pandora, the oxygen and everything's a lot different. So humans can die within four minutes if they don't wear one of these uh, special breathing masks. 25. See, you can uh, articulate like that. So, and I believe this would go forward as well, but it's not, this is not broken yet. So these aren't going to be able to articulate for you now, right now in this video tonight, um, because everything's so stiff, stiff still for this one. Close that, close the canopy. So, so for this hand piece that they've given us, first you're gonna take this fist and you're gonna start by pulling really hard. And once you pull hard enough, you're gonna be able to take this and Pop the other replacement hand on there, like so, out of focus. Okay, now this just terrified me. I was getting ready to put the flamethrower on here. And so I, I started to do this, and I was going to move so that the, the thumb can fit in here. I went like this, and I was like, oh, no. And then I realized, wow, this this release is amazing because... The other amp suit does not do this. These three fingers right here are articulating separately, and this one by itself, the trigger finger. Um, the thumb does not, it's sculpted that way. But that allows you to put this in the hand um, somehow. First of all, I'm gonna take this hand off too because I can see that it's meant to come off. Ow, but it's fine. Uh, look right there, it's starting to make sense. You're gonna have to start to slide that through there. Then you wanna slide that through there. Then you see how these fingers are in there like that, holding that. And then you have this, this other finger right here, which you can bring out so that you could use it to touch. Uh, it's not gonna go up much, but you know what I mean? Like it's pressing these buttons. And then you're gonna just hold this in, position lock that in. Um, now essentially you're gonna have this in the hand of the amp suit. You're just gonna have to, ow, 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 that hurt. Dry fingers are cracking from winter time, well, it's fall, but you know what I mean? Oh, that hurt. So, now I have the amp suit holding the flamethrower. Uh, it looked impossible. It looked impossible at first. But now I can, I can show that. 
And then here's the other bracing hand right there. It's it's very cool. The This hand reaching this way does not feel like it has the proper reach to really be able to brace. I mean, it does. Uh, I'm just going to cover up. I don't know if I could make that stay or not. Maybe, maybe you could, but it's going to cover up the cockpit. You're not really going to be able to look inside, but that's holding that. Now let's change out this hand and put the knife in. Easy transition. Now that I've had that out of there, it's going to go in so much simpler, I bet. See? It's getting uh, used, better used. For stability of your figure, you're going to want to turn these out like this. The thing just doesn't fall flat on its face. You can see that better. Okay. About one of the simplest ways is to go underneath like that. And now you've got your mech suit holding the knife downward position. Like, a lot like they did in the first movie. I don't know about the second movie yet, because it's... Some people have seen it, but I sure haven't, and I don't know that I will soon. But I know it's coming out in like eight days. But my point is, that's pretty cool, huh? You can uh, hold your knife like that and your flamethrower. Now, so here's the original release of this, of a giant mech suit like this. And this was Quaritch's Beyond Glory, Quaritch Miles, Quaritch M. Okay. And, yeah, you see that? So, this one had also an articulative hand. Wow. It's kind of close. This one came with a, a gun knife slash knife thing with ammo, rubber ammo attached all over that. Um, it did not come with cords. He sold separately. But what I'm trying to say is... Um, this is number 11. That is number 25 back there. This one does not have articulation in the fingers. Um, the, the trigger finger or these three fingers. It does not. Um, it does have the interchangeable hand thing and it does have the knife. Is the knife the same? The knife appears to be exactly the same, yes. Um, this is different. This is not on that amp suit back there. Our, our, is the paint, the articulation is the same other than this hand on that one. Articulation is all the same. You can twist, you know, the amp suit all the same too. All, a lot further than I'm doing it. You can open, you know, the, the canopy on the old version, too. Uh, it appears that the paint apps may be a little different colors on some of these blues and yellow than that one back there. This one, this old version also has the mask in the back here. Um, but it's basically like almost buying the exact same amp suit, but not. But not in a in some in a certain few ways. So hang on a second. So you can see both amp suits side by side. There's an extra hand for that one. Um, and they hold their their weapons. This one has the more intense articulation on the right hand. This one does not. It's just molded that way, but it fits the gun. They both interchangeably interchange these hands the same way, the same type of hand. But but like I said, this has a trigger finger and three other finger separate articulation, two points of articulation in that hand besides just swivel as well. Um, so yeah, it is, it is worth buying this one, the new one, plus the fact that it has a flamethrower. Um, it's not the same. It is different. And again, we're looking inside the the new one right now i'm gonna flip it upside down we're looking inside there okay now let me go over to this canopy and you can see 
that in this canopy, it's nearly identical, almost. Perhaps there are some subtle differences in, in color, it's hard to tell. Everything is not exactly the same because like, like I was saying, this new one, uh, there's no logo. There's no logo on the side there. And then you go over here on quarter inches is a logo right there. You see what I'm saying? Both of them have the breathing mask in the back, back there. The extra breathing mask, it does not detach. It's just there. And this is number 25, even though it looks really funky, over spray paint. Number 11 is Colonel Miles Corich. Number 11, number 25. 25 flamethrower, bush boss, gun, knife thing, Corich, Miles. Less articulation in the right hand. More articulation better in the right hand. Also very different. So keep in mind in this review, I'm not showing you all the parts included with all of these comparison sets. This guy, Corich, comes with an alternate head and um, alternate gun, um, but he's the figure designed to fit inside this amp suit, which he sort of barely does, but he does. Also, I mean, look in here, here is a miniaturized version you're seeing of this mech suit back here, okay? And then here is a miniaturized version of this kind of mech suit right here. Also, they come with different um, accessory hands and knives. This has a knife too and another hand. I'm just not showing it in the video and this one would, would uh, likewise have an extra. So, the color is different on these two. Um, the numbers are different, but they correspond just like the mech suits. This, this mech suit also has that logo, like, the, like that one over there. And this one is also appropriately missing the logo like that one right there. Um, this is going to have less detail and it's going to fit on the, the hand a different way. It's not coming off of there. It's designed differently for scale, obviously. Um, and yes, these little canopies do, uh, open for these mech suits and they have a great range of articulation as well um, being like the hand being able to turn or come off on that one uh, articulation like this uh, articulation like this articulation uh, no waste okay but then again you can watch my other review and see and get a better idea articulation right there as well Tinier, smaller parts, you have to be careful. Swivel. So, you know what I'm saying? But I prefer this one of the two. And again, I prefer this one of the two now. Versus the that version. That version's really cool. This version has the more articulative hand. Uh, and the flamethrower. Corch is a great figure. He is, however, a little bit tall when you close the canopy. So I would say that if you want to stick in a 3.75 inch figure like Ellie, it's going to fit in these amp suits absolutely perfect and close that canopy and you won't regret using 3.75 inch figures. They work excellent. So in closing here, I'm just going to say that this is an excellent uh, figure and it's worth every penny. It's it's improved 
with this new added hand articulation in those two places with the fingers and this right here where you can swivel. Uh, I'm going to say that this is an excellent, excellent new amp suit that is now superior to even Cordich's, even though his has his own rightful place as an amazing amp suit as well. It's great to have both. That's the back of it. And there's underneath. So this is Stormy Cloud 21. I want to thank you for watching this review. Please remember to hit that like and subscribe button. See more cool stuff coming up soon. Thanks for watching and talk soon.